Hey everyone, this is Patch Tuesday and I'm going to look at what are the vulnerabilities that Microsoft is patching today. And today is, is a Patch Tuesday, February 9th of 2021. Uh, this is a much improved UI that they're using this test to release their vulnerability. And this one just got released today. And if you look at the release date, uh, that's all February 9th, which is today. And uh, when you go to that uh, website this is the view that you get under the vulnerabilities uh, uh, tab so what I'm going to do here I'm going to click on the edit columns here and uh, last updated it sees most of the time it's blank so I'm going to get rid of that column I'm going to keep the CV number and the title uh, maybe this tag is kind of redundant CV title is pretty descriptive so I can uh, possibly get rid of the tag uh, then I want to know this whether this particular vulnerability is publicly disclosed or not okay that's an important information so I'm going to go and get that particular header exploitability assessment is also something that I like to see whether uh, it is how easy or difficult is it to exploit and exploited is it currently being exploited uh, article uh, let's add that mitigation uh, workaround and uh, that's pretty much it let me see if we need any of this so looks looks like for some of this uh, you do have some workaround but only for few so i am gonna gonna get rid of that particular column and if i go mitigation is also really for the most part you just need to apply the apply the patch uh, so let's come back over here workaround mitigation i'm gonna get rid of them uh, article uh, they're linked to articles uh, about discussing more about these particular vulnerabilities so let me get rid of that one as well uh, let's see and uh, looks pretty good so just close this one and let's see grouping uh, release notes release date there is nothing there uh, keywords nothing there so let's just try to uh, download it and see if I can even open this one in my new MacBook so let's see can I open it opening security updates 2021 uh, there we go so this is Mac but I can still open my uh, uh, my file so over here the thing that i am interested in i'm looking for all right for the ex uh, exploitability assessment uh more likely okay this is the one that i'm that i see windows tcpit denial of the service vulnerability that seems to be one of them that says exploitation is more likely so i would what i'll do i'm just gonna highlight this field and uh, make it to bold or something just change the text maybe the text color change it to something else i want to uh, pay some attention to that one here is another one i say there is more likely okay so i'm going to pay some attention to that one uh, here is another one more likely so let's see again this is all tcp id denial vulnerability looks like that's the vulnerability that's uh, showing up multiple times let's see more likely there's a SharePoint vulnerability looks like uh, that could be an important one as well what else do I have uh, then for some looks like uh, there is no assessment for exploitability uh, exploitation detected so this is the only one that uh, you have to pay very close attention because this one saying they have uh, open exploits available at the moment right so this is really bad Okay, there are some other windows installer elevation of privilege so let's check out that one uh, let's see more likely same thing uh, this one is related to the other one winter to elevation so I can just keep this skip it for now and uh, that's about it so let's see so this one we already know this one we have open exploit so this one we should be treating fairly uh, uh, with with lot of attention we should be giving it to this one because it's saying the exploitation detected even so very important 
let's see the other here is another one SharePoint we already looked at so this is the SharePoint one let's just highlight that just to be consistent okay SharePoint uh, that's another important one that you can uh, take a look at looks like the, the TCP IP rem remote code uh, execution uh, always the TCP IP track is uh, problematic you you know every here and there you will find problem with this TCP IP track so take a look at that one as well uh, as we are doing other things uh, all right so those are looks like uh, most important here is another one this is also regarding the TCP IP uh, stack so from this quick review what I learned that uh, CV 2021 2409486787472 so these are some of the ones that I would be looking at it more closely so you can go back over here and uh, say let's take a look at one of these uh, 24094 so over here 24094 let's just just find 24094 uh, you can order it by CTID. Let's see 2409 I'm going to look for 94. So that's the one that I want to look at. So if you look at CVS score 3.8, man, that that is that is has to be like critical. And the temporal score is also 8.5. So that is uh, a serious one. And what I'm looking at here, attack vector network, complexity is low, privilege required none. So that's that's really bad, okay? Uh, so without any privilege, I can attack your system and exploit this vulnerability. So that seems to be very critical. User interaction, none. So that's even worse that I not only don't I need any uh, privileges, but I don't even need any user interaction to exploit this vulnerability. And the impact is definitely then going to be very, very high. Uh, exploitability, uh, it's again, it's more likely. So everything tells me this vulnerability I should be treating it as uh, treating is very, very critical and should be fixing it as soon as I can. Uh, workaround, uh, so the mitigation they have given us some IPv6 link local addresses are not routable on the internet and are not reachable by remote attackers. An attack would need to originate from the same original ne network segment for the systems that are only configured with IPv6 link local address. So this is actually a relief. A lot of organizations, they still don't use the IPv4. So if you are, I, I mean, they still use IPv4 and not IPv6. So in your organization, if you don't use IPv6, probably you are not impacted. But if you do have it, uh, they have given us some workarounds, set global reassembly limit to zero. And this is how you need to do that. And they're also talking about some impact of the workaround. There's a potential of packet loss when discarding out of order packets. And uh, if you want to undo the workaround, they have also given us uh, the command to fix it. Okay. So I'll let you guys take a look at the other ones. Uh, but if as uh, you, you, you as I said, this is a critical vulnerability, and since it does not uh, use any, any, it does not require any privileges, and no user interaction. If you're using IPv6, it's, you should treat it as very, very critical, and you should be fixing it now. All right. So hopefully, you have a good understanding how to look at the others that we were reviewing, and uh, review it, be secure, and pay attention to Patch Tuesday. Have fun.